I'm Mike. Welcome to my Waffle Square, where I obsess about things, and you get to benefit from it. In this video, we're going to talk about SSD storage with the iPad. The Lacey 5 terabyte USB-C drive. Solid state, great value, but does it work with the iPad? Is it true that it first has to be formatted by a Mac? Let's find out together. All right, let's see what comes in the box. So we got the drive right here. Nice little plastic lid that this sits cradled into. So we've got two cables. Uh, one is a regular USB 3 to USB-C, and then this cable here is C to C. Step one, I guess plug it in. That's pretty simple. Step two on a Mac, uh, you go to the drive and click on it. For Windows, it looks like the same thing if it comes up in the software. Uh, nope, these are all just a bunch of different languages. And then uh, registering the device, warranty information, and, and probably the real manual right here at this website. Uh, hopefully we won't need that, but let's find out. All right, so I got my 2018 iPad Pro. I'm in the Files app. We've got the USB C to C cable that's supplied, and let's plug it in and see what happens. Now we see a light coming on right here on the drive. What I also hear is what sounds like an internal hard drive firing up. Now, I thought this guy was an SSD drive, but I can clearly hear what sounds like a moving, spinning hard drive in there. All right, let's look over here along locations in the Files app, and you can see nothing is coming up. Fast forward a couple minutes of letting this guy get going and there's still nothing coming up on the Files app. So it appears right out of the box, uh, this uh, drive is not usable with uh, the iPad. Let's first check and see if there might be an app for this Lacey drive that we can use. All right, when we bring up Lacey in the App Store, we find uh, Lacey Boss for the um, Boss SSD drive, but that's not what we have. We have just a standard uh, mobile drive. If we go into the Lacey Media photo and video, this app gives you access to photos, video, music, and documents stored on your compatible Lacey storage device. Quickly and easily browse your digital library using a classic file folder, thumbnails with a range of filters. Well, let's try this one. All right, we downloaded this app. Now let's open it. give it access to my photos, I accept the terms and conditions, I accept the user agreement, I accept the privacy statement. Well, none of those apps seem to work. So before we switch over to the laptop, let's try one more thing. Maybe it was a power usage need uh, situation. So what I've done is I've hooked up uh, power through uh, this uh, multi-port here, and it's got a standard USB drive. So let's plug into the Lacey drive and then put this standard USB port right into this drive and see if anything happens there. I can hear the internal drive spinning up. <laughs> well, that did nothing. All right, let's see if we plug this guy into my old MacBook here, if anything happens. I hear the drive firing up. Lights on. Oop, blinking several times. There we go. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, do you want to use the Lacey 5 terabyte to back up with Time Machine? No, I don't. All right, so we get a Lacey drive right here, pops up on the screen just like any other USB device. When we get the info on it, it says uh, capacity is five terabytes, five terabytes available. So there's nothing on here, not any manuals or anything. All right, so I went to the Lacey website and I looked on the manual and it doesn't even mention the iPad. Uh, it does, however, mention formatting the drive in different formats. So I went on an apple.com forum where they were asking specifically about the two terabyte version of this drive. And the question is, will this work on the new iPad Pro 11 inch? And there's three answers. The first two are, nope, doesn't work. Uh, then the third one though says, you have to format it as XFAT, E-X-F-A-T, then maybe you can use it with the iPad Pro. I say maybe because I don't know if it'll support the five terabyte drive. I'm using a two terabyte with the iPad Pro and it works with no problem. So let's see if we can format this over to that XFAT format. All right, so if we go into Finder, Applications, then a disk utility, and we double click on that. Then we select the drive right here. It gives us a first aid, partition, erase, mount, and info. So if we go up to erase, it then brings up a folder. It says the name of the drive, which is untitled. So let's title it Lacey. 5TB. And then we're going to change the format from OSX to that XFAT. And then let's hit erase. Erasing Lacey Mobile Drive Media and creating Lacey 5TB. Erase process is complete, done, and continue. Well, that was quick. Probably because there was nothing on it. Uh, Lacey 5TB, 5 terabytes USB, external physical volume, XFAT. All right. Well, then let's go in here and let's eject it. And let's head back to the iPad and see if it works. All right, back over to the iPad. We switched back to the USB-C to C cable. Let's plug it in and see if anything changed. Lights coming on. And boom, there we go. That's new. So Lacey 5TB pops up. And we show on here nothing. Now, let's see if we can move some data onto there. I've been waiting to uh, take some um, previous projects and load them onto there. So here's a music video I did for my son. And let's select that and let's move it to the Lacey. All right, there's the file transferred over to the uh, Lacey drive. Now I started this about one minute late, so it took uh, eight minutes, 37 seconds or so to transfer what I added up to be uh, 12.14 gigabytes of information. So let's wake this guy back up here and let's go in and check it and make sure everything's working. Does the audio file work? All right. Yep. Uh, here's the final video that we made. Dude, are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right.
And there was the thumbnail for his little YouTube channel. Looking cool. These are all the things he loves, by the way. He loves his blue guitar. He loves uh, Sunny Delight. And he loves his skateboard. So <laughs> we took a picture of him with everything. Anyway, um, it worked. What are your thoughts on uh, 12 plus gigabytes of information loading onto this drive from the iPad using USB-C to C in 8 minutes 30 seconds? Is that good? Is that average? Is that below average? Uh, let me know. Well, I think I effectively answered the questions I had for this Lacey 5 terabyte drive. Number one, will it work with the iPad? Yes, it does. Number two, do you have to format it first? Yes, you do. Now, I will say the formatting process to change it from its existing format to over to that XFAT was very simple, as long as you have access to a Mac. Now, that can be disappointing if you've if you're 100% on uh, iPad, but if you have a Mac or access to someone else's Mac, it's really easy and fast. Now, what are some of the other things we learned? You don't need an app to utilize this drive. You simply plug it into the iPad. That is a big change from the WD My Passport drive. Now, this guy came out before uh, iOS 13, so it doesn't support just directly plugging it into the iPad. You have to use the My Cloud app and go through its own Wi-Fi signal or your home Wi-Fi. And another big advantage to the WD My Passport is when you compare the value of the two. I bought this particular five terabyte drive renewed for 129. Brand new, it's 149. I bought this WD My Passport drive in 2018 and at that time it was $197. I just looked it up on Amazon right now and it's $220. And it's the same technology as it was before. So value wise, the Lacey is a great deal. Now I will say after I loaded that file folder that you saw on the video, I uploaded a couple more. And when I went back into one of my business videos, it was about seven and a half gigabytes. And I press play, as you see here, it stutters a bit in its playback. Uh, but for me personally, I'm gonna be using this drive to warehouse all of my legacy footage onto. So in, in other words, when I'm done with it on the iPad, I'm gonna move it over to this drive just to keep it in case I ever need it in the future. I can load it back onto the iPad, but I'm not gonna use this to uh, view footage off of. I'll put everything onto my iPad in my workflow first, uh, edit it, publish it to YouTube, and then put it onto this drive uh, to keep it for long term. Now next, the upload speed. Even from the iPad to this drive with a USB-C to C cable, I would not classify this as fast. Now the WD My Passport is downright slow, but I thought it might be quicker and it's not. And another thing that disappointed me, I don't know where I got it from, but I believe I said in the beginning of this video that this was an SSD drive and that's just not true. This is an internal hard drive with the spinning disc. You can hear it and it says it right in the description on Amazon. So I don't know where I got that from, but <laughs> I was a little disappointed when I realized it. That's probably pretty silly when you consider what a value it is. I should just live with it and be fine. Well, I think I've obsessed about this enough. I can finally get out of this waffle square and move on to something else. But first I'd like to ask if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to start suggesting it to other people. Also, I'd like to hear your comments below. What do you think of this drive as compared to say the Narbox or the WD My Passport? Would you like to see me do some speed tests on the same amount of footage, uploading it uh, onto any of these drives? I'd be happy to do that if there's any interest for that. Now I'll leave links below to the article that I found uh, that described how to reformat this drive. And I'll also leave links to all the products that I talked about. 
Now, full disclosure, those will be affiliate links. So if you click on them and you end up making a purchase, it doesn't cost you anything, but at the end of the month, I do get a small reward. It helps to justify the time and the money it takes to make these videos. Until next time, thank you for watching.